All right, well, today is December 14th. It's eight o'clock in the morning right now. This is my first fishing trip in, in about four months. I think the last fishing trip I was on was back in August on a sturgeon fishing trip. So it's definitely been a while since I touched my fishing rods and my fishing tackle, but that's just simply due to hunting. But today we are out here at probably the most inconsistent lake I've ever fished at. And we're here at 4th of July Lake. This lake to me, every time we come here, it's usually a very bad time or you do really good. So I think I've only limited out at this lake once. All the other trips, we've caught one fish or we've caught no fish. So I don't really have uh, high expectations for today, but today, just in celebration of getting done with fall quarter of school, we just decided to come out here and do some trout fishing. I brought pretty much my whole kitchen with me today, so if we catch a fish, or catch a trout, that trout is going in the frying pan. Regardless if we can catch a fish or not, I did bring enough food for us so that we don't have to rely solely on the fishing. So if the fishing is bad and we don't catch a fish, well, lucky for us, we had a better season this year in hunting, so we got some deer meat to eat. Without further ado, I'm just going to show you guys my rigs and uh, we'll just start fishing. So today I'm going with two rods. Here in Washington, some lakes, they allow you to use two poles if you buy the two pole endorsement. And which 4th of July Lake is one of those, those lakes where they allow you to use uh, two poles if you bought the two pole endorsement, which I did. So since I have two poles, I'm going to take advantage of it. And one rod, I'm going to set it as a bottom fishing rig. That way I can just throw it out there and just kind of leave it. And then the other one is my spinning setup. While my bottom fishing rig is just sitting there, I can, you know, cast with my spinning or my uh, my rooster tails and my panther martins and stuff like that. So, um, this right here is my bottom fishing rig. It's pretty much just a Carolina rig. So, right here is 10 pound braid, Power Pro braid. And then I have a half ounce lead weight right here. And then I have a bead. Uh, a lot of people say that this bead helps the weight not damage or not. But to me, I honestly don't see a difference, but I just put it on there just for the heck of it, just in case it does make a difference. And then I have a swivel here. Then I have a 10 pound mono leader onto a size size eight treble hook. Along with my bottom fishing rig, I'm just gonna throw some power bait or my Panther Martin set up. Same exact thing, 10 pound braid. I got a swivel and then 10 pound mono. And then we're gonna start off with a 3 8 ounce Panther Martin, black and gold color. So that's pretty simple. So we're going to get to fishing. I think I have like a two feet, two and a half, three feet liter. So basically all that means is that my weight, wherever my weight is sitting, my power bait is floating like two to three feet up in the water. And I just decided to throw a bell on there because since I'm gonna be busy, like just casting my spinner, I'm not always gonna have time to come back and look at my rod. So hopefully when the fish bites, that bell will ring. And uh, it just takes a little bit off your mind instead of being paranoid about fish biting it. You guys can see I have the most black and gold because that's what we do the best on. Again, like that's just our go-to. It doesn't always produce or perform. So it's good to have different colors and a variety. The heaviest ones I have is a 3 8, three eight ounce, which is the one I have rigged up on my spinning rod right now. And then all the rooster tails right here are 1 6 ounce, I believe. I also have some 1 8 ounce black and gold panther martins, so. Oh, fish on. Oh, I got a fish, Tubi. Oh, I think he came off. 
Oh. Yeah. Hey, at least we got a bite. If we get another bite on the bottom fishing rig, I might just have to do a double bottom fishing rig. Right when I set the hook, my, my line got wrapped around the bell, so I couldn't reel at first. But hey, it's a good sign. We'll take it. So I just left this in the car. All right. Cutting board, aluminum foil. Bowls, spoons, forks, frying pan, tongs, Mountain Dew. I got our good old propane, propane stove. The fishing was okay. We could have had fish going with our meal today, but again, just didn't capitalize. But that's okay because I think whitetail tenderloins are just as good if not better than trout so they're just gonna throw some stuff together and we're just gonna eat There was two pieces that I wrapped. There's a tenderloin, there's a shank, so. How do you like your uh, red meat? We are missing our trout. Technically, there's supposed to be a piece of trout here, but we didn't catch anything. So this will do. We have rice, avocados, and some very delicious tenderloin and shank from my spike whitetail that I shot earlier this year. And just threw on some parsley on there to get some green. Just thankful that I got to harvest that whitetail spike earlier this year. 
just I don't know, just a little of everything. Rice, avocado, piece of tenderloin. We just finished our main entree, which was what you guys just saw with us eating. Now, just to wash everything down, got some of these uh, mandarin oranges, just peeled and inside some juice. That's refreshing. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Again, originally this was supposed to be a catch and cook. We were supposed to go catch a rainbow trout, at least one. As you guys saw, we didn't catch anything. We got two hits, but we didn't capitalize on either one. So came over here, we were planning to bottom fish while we cooked, but we got over here and the ice is like three, four inches thick. So we just said, if we get off fishing, we're just gonna cook. And then since we're kind of cold, we're just gonna eat and then head off home so winter break is official here so hopefully we'll be able to do more videos this is just the start because i've been gone for like a month so that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video definitely more cooking videos to come now that i have more time and hunting season is over and uh, hopefully we get some more some more successful fishing videos out here so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one What a... Ah... Uh.